Okay, um, I've had questions on how to solve a bond valuation problem out of uh, chapter 6. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I might solve problem 6-4. Let me go ahead and read the problem to you. It says Lightning Electric's outstanding bond has a $1,000 maturity value and a 4.5% coupon rate of interest, which is paid semi-annually. The bond, which was issued five years ago, matures in 10 years. If the investors require a rate of return equal to 6% to invest in similar bonds, what is the current market value of Lightning's bond? Okay, so they said the coupon rate is 4.5%. Well, 4.5%, um, and it says it's paid semi-annually, so it's two times per year, right? So this should be a division sign here. I'm sorry, guys. So it'd be four and a half percent divided by two times a thousand would be twenty-two fifty. Okay, um, so that would be my payment, and it's paid four and a half percent. Now this the maturity rate is in ten years, right? So we can say you can kind of ignore the five years ago. You can say right now is zero, and in ten years. So if they're semi-annually payments, then they're then then n would be it would be twenty payments, right? But let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and solve, put this in Excel. So we're given, we're given n. Well, it's 10. I'm going to put a 10 here in years. And we're also given r is 6%. And we can call that uh, APR. Now remember, make sure you put percent here. If you put just type in 6, it's not going to think it's percent. So when you type in 6%, Excel thinks that's 0 0.06, right? And then the coupon payment. Well, the coupon payment is equal to, uh, let's say coupon rate for now. We'll solve the coupon rate is 4.5%. Uh, and that's semi-annual, okay? And uh, what else do we need here? We need, uh, we have the 6%, we have the 10 years, oh, we need the, we need the maturity value. The maturity value is, uh, so they're gonna give you $1,000 when the coupon matures. Now another word for that might be face value or it might be par value. Uh, you might hear it, but in, 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 in chapter four terms on time value of money, it's actually future value. Okay, so that's the amount of money you're going to get in the future when the bond return, the bond matures. Now this coupon rate, like we said before, the coupon rate you don't want to get the interest rate. You don't want to get the interest rate mixed up with the coupon rate. That's what some students get confused. Remember, the coupon rate is just simply used to calculate what your payment's going to be, okay, and your, and your, your coupon payment. And since it's four and a half percent, if it was, if it was just once a year, it'd be four and a half percent times a thousand, which would be forty-five dollars. Since it's twice a year, you're going to divide it by two, so it's twenty-two fifty every six months, okay. All right, so we want to find. What do we want to find? We want to find the value of this debt instrument. And I'm going to get fancy. I'm going to hold down shift and then hit the right. The, I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold down shift and do the left arrow to highlight the D. I'm going to go in. Well, this is being silly. It won't let me. Oh, well, I was going to try to do a subscript, but for some reason this thing won't let me subscript when I go in here. I'm not sure why it's doing. Okay. Anyway, so we want to find this. We won't do a subscript. And then uh, solution. Uh, so let me let me I'm gonna, I'm gonna click here and then hold down control and click here and here. And I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make those bold and underline. Okay. So for a solution, before we do anything else, we need to put in the coupon payment. Coupon payment again. We said it's equal to four and a half percent divided by two. Remember, this is a mistake. This should be times, and then times the thousand dollars. 
Now, I didn't type the numbers in here. Remember on Excel, you never type it if you have it here already. All right, you're going to point to where that number is at. Okay, so the coupon payment is $22.50. So now we can calculate the value of the data instrument. And now see how this underlined it because I thought it was supposed to be underlined. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on this format painter and make it so it's not underlined. Okay. All right. So, uh, so the value of debt. Now this is another word for this would, would be present value, right? Because it's what's happened. What what the what's that worth right now? What am I going to have to spend on it? So I have a negative cash flow. I'm spending money. I mean, what do I need to spend right now in order to get these payments in the future? These payments at twenty-two dollars and fifty cents every six months plus a thousand dollars when the bottom matures. If I require six percent return, so what is that? What's that value? What's that worth to me? Okay, so what's the present value? So I'm going to go equals present value. I'm going to hit the parentheses, and it tells me here rate, and I could click six percent, all right. And then remember, it's twice a year, so I got to go divided by two. Okay, so I could do it that way, or if I want to do it an easier way, once I once I get to this point, my after I hit this opening parentheses, I can go here, and it opens up this nice little box for me. I can do it this way. So I can go in here and go to the rate. Well, the rate, and it tells you what the rate is down here. So the rate is six percent, and it says here for quarterly divided by four. Well, this is semi-annual, so I'm going to go divided by two. Okay, the number of periods, well, it's 10 years. Is that right? Is it 10 years? Do I use a 10? Well, I use the 3% interest rate, so it's 0 0.03. So this is yearly, but since I'm using 30 percent it's semi-annual payments, right? So I'm going to take that times two. So it's 20, 20 of these little payments right here. So you've got to be very careful that this rate is the same as this payments, right? If this was just once a year, then I, then this would just be 6%. Since so this is twice a year, you got to divide by 2, so it's 3%, and this has to be 20 payments, okay? The payment, well, we already calculated the payment, so I'm just going to click here. And the future value, well, that's how much I'm going to get paid when the bond matures. That's right here. Type, well, I just leave it blank because it's an ordinary annuity, right? These payments are at the end of the period. So you just leave it blank, and I go, okay. So that's valued at. That, that's the answer. Okay, so it's valued that what I should pay for that bond if I require a 6% return. I should pay $888.42 or less, right? right? If I paid less, then I would get a higher return. All right, so let's do this on the calculator real quick. If I go, I'm going to do it, uh, in order to get this, I'm going to go to course home, then to the syllabus. And then if I go to the online emulator, now you guys, you guys, hopefully you downloaded it on your cell phone or something like that. But if you haven't done that, if you have a smartphone, you can download that, right? I showed you right here links. I showed you some links to where you can download that calculator on your on, on your cell phone. This is for the Android, this is for the Apple. But I'm going to use the online emulator. That's free. First thing I want to do is clear the calculator. So I'm going to go yellow, and a little F button comes up, and, I, and I'm going to clear the finance. So if I hit this button, I'm doing whatever is in yellow since I have this yellow key. So I'm going to clear the financial register. Okay. And so now I'm simply going to address these five keys. N is 20, so I'm going to go 20. And I, remember I was 3%, uh, right? Because it's twice a year. So you get divided by 2. Now the calculator, remember, uses percent, so I don't have to put it in there as 0 0.03. Present value, that's what we're solving for. This is the coupon payment, which is 22.50. I'm going to put that in for payment. And the future value, what I'm going to get when the bond matures in 10 years, it's going to be $1,000. So I'm going to put that in for future value. And then I hit present value, and it's going to give me a negative 888.42. And that's exactly what we got using Excel. So that's how you solve that problem. Bond valuation is not that hard if you take it back into terms of what you learned in, tr in chapter four. You know, they, you have to you just have to know that the the future value is the same thing as a face value, maturity value, the par value. You have to know when they're asking for the value, what are they asking for? They're asking for the present value, right? You have to know the coupon rate. With well, the coupon rate, that's simply just to calculate what the coupon payments for. You're just going to take it. 
you remember this is not divided by this, it's not time, this is divided by, you know, there's four and a half divided by two times a thousand, that's twenty two dollars and fifty cents every six months. A lot of people get these two confused, don't confuse these two. This one's just to figure out the payment, this is the one you use for the rate, okay, so don't confuse those. Um, so it's just a matter of knowing the language of the discipline, understanding what these terms mean when you read the chapter, so you need to read the chapter to try to comprehend what, what is coupon rate? Well, okay, coupon rates is to figure out what the payment is. So it's very simple once you know the terminology. So that's it for that problem.